Giselle disrespects Tom. From March 2021, here's the video interview where Brazilian journalist Pedro Bial and Giselle gang up on Tom Brady to ridicule and emasculate him. The celebrity couple in question here is the Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bunchen and seven time Super Bowl champion former NFL quarterback Tom Brady. I will point out that they are no longer together, they have since divorced. Their relationship is not the topic of this video, it's this random faceless Twitter account. So let's go ahead and watch this clip and watch Tom Brady get ridiculed and emasculated apparently. In Brazil, people call you Giselo or Giselle's husband. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I'm perfectly okay with that. I love it. I love my wife. I love being in her life no matter what, so. At the time of this interview, he was Giselle's husband, you know. Is the emasculation occurring because the journalist didn't refer to her as Tom's wife? It's not like the journalist said, you know, in Brazil, Tom, we refer to you as Giselle's beta cuck bitch. Now this interview is on YouTube. It is about 33 minutes long. And for the majority of the interview, it is Pedro B a Brazilian interviewing Giselle Bunchen, another Brazilian, in which they engage in a conversation in their native language of Portuguese. This is clearly a Brazilian interview that's probably going to be watched mostly by Brazilians. One of the main sports that Brazilians play is football, but it's not the football that Tom Brady plays. So it's probably more likely that Brazilians will know who Giselle Bunchen is over who Tom Brady is. Because Tom Brady is American, not Brazilian. Are we really that surprised that Brazilians would refer to Tom Brady as Giselle's husband? And the fact that there are men who would be bothered by this just shows how fragile masculinity is. If this is the hill you're dying on, masculinity is a complete joke. Now this Twitter account went into deep analysis about their relationship, down to how they pose together in photos. Apparently men leaning into their wives in photos is weak and pathetic and feminine. But let's go back to the clip of Tom's emasculation. You know, arguably the greatest quarterback to ever play in the NFL, that guy, who married one of the most famous supermodels in the world. Of course, the alpha Twitter account offers up how he would handle the situation. Can you explain a good alternative response for Tom that would have dismantled this disrespect. This is so geeky. When someone verbally attacks you or disrespects you, do three things. Wow. Stay calm and emotionally unreactive, of course. Repeat what the other person said in a self-amused and slightly skeptical way. Repeating what the other person said gives you time to think of a good reframe reply. <laughs> Frame the other person as emotionally insecure, jealous, butthurt, or seeking attention and validation. This is embarrassing. This is so pathetic. Here's his first example of how he would handle this disrespect. Tom, ignoring Giselle, talking to Pedro. Giselle, that's funny. This little troublemaker always needs to be the center of attention. She's adorable. Look at her smile. <laughs> Or if Tom wanted to hit back harder, well, this will be good. Tom, ignoring Giselle, talking to Pedro. Giselle, that's funny. This little troublemaker always needs to be the center of attention. She gets jealous easily. You know how women can be, Pedro. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is beyond peak cringe. With both of these replies, Tom does all three things. He stays calm, has fun. He repeats the question to give himself time. He frames Giselle as emotionally immature and needing validation. This is the beauty of frame control, a very powerful social skill tool. Okay. I can't imagine Tom Brady and Bill Belichick went into this much post-game analysis after playing a football match. Also, why are we framing Giselle as emotionally immature and needing validation? When Pedro Bial was the man who asked Tom Brady how he felt that in Brazil he is known as Giselle's husband. You're not alpha unless you're not sticking it to your wife for no reason. Doing all of this is such emotional immaturity and incredibly condescending to women. If Tom Brady did any of this, he would come off as such a super douchebag. Imagine sitting on Twitter all day overanalyzing celebrity relationships and thinking that you're an alpha masculine man? Where's your Brazilian supermodel girlfriend that you control under your frame? You mean to tell me that the people from the country that my wife is from, that I'm not from, refer to me as her husband? Well, they would be right. I was the one who asked her to be my wife and evidently that would make me her husband. Whether you refer to me as her husband or refer to her as my wife, we still end up in the same destination. The men that proclaim that they are the most alpha masculine manly man have the most fragile ego are so incredibly insecure and emotionally immature. The lesson to be learned here as a man, if you follow the advice of random faceless alpha male masculinity accounts, I feel confident in saying it will keep you single. I mean, in saying that he tweets stuff like this too. Now in regards to feeling or being emasculated by other people, this tweet really sums it up well. Emasculated is such an interesting word because there's no female equivalent. Only a man can be robbed of something so arbitrary and societally constructed as his masculinity.